And what's up guys, Shadow Dragonic here, bringing you yet another episode of Let's Play Destiny Blind. And I got an update here for you. Um, obviously, as you can see, my armor is pretty uh, pretty epic, or at least my my Prime Zealot gloves and my Shattered Vault cloak, which were both obtained from the Vault of Glass raid, which was actually the last thing I recorded. Um, I've been pretty busy at work all week, and... I have had time to play, but I just, I haven't really been in the, the mood to record anything, so I didn't record anything all week, sadly. But I am recording this now, so hooray for that. Um, some updates, obviously, uh, the armor and stuff, you can see I'm at 390 light now, almost at 391. Um, everything is pretty, pretty far up there. Um, obviously my weapons and stuff are... Uh, still the same. I have uh, leveled up my Fatebringer and Angel's Advocate and Atheon's uh, Epilogue and you know some other things. Uh, the Fatebringer, I do, I do like the Fatebringer. It it is a powerhouse as far as damage goes. I just, I am more of a precision guy myself, and the Fatebringer, you have to be pretty close. In order to get headshots with the Fatebringer, which is fine, but in the same aspect, the Fatebringer has explosive rounds, which, I mean, I can turn those off, I suppose, but, I mean, I don't know. The explosive rounds and Firefly together just don't, uh, they don't really mix, and I enjoy my range and precision, so I think I'm going to stick with my Angel's Advocate, you know, just for personal preference purposes. I'm sure some people are probably thinking, just go with the Fatebringer, but I'm not really a big fan of hand cannons anyway, so it's just not my style. But yeah, um, actually some of these weapons I might not have had. Because, um, I did a lot of stuff off screen, actually, with, um, and I don't think I explained that to you guys in the last video. Um, I did a lot of stuff off screen with Owlbuster, who was one of my subscribers, who, um, you know, I, I did the Vault of Glass with him and Deft Puppies, and, uh, Owlbuster and Deft Puppies did help me to, uh, well, actually, no, I guess it was Owlbuster. Maybe Deaf Puppies did. I don't even remember now. But uh, he did help me to get a lot of quest exotics. Which, uh, I got the Black Spindle, Sniper Rifle. I got um, Sleeper Simulant and the Gallahorn. Well, you guys saw the Gallahorn, actually. That was me and Deaf Puppies. But, yeah. So, I did some stuff yesterday as well. Um, off screen that I probably should have recorded, but I didn't. Um, I... I spent a lot of time in the Archon's Forge, which is the first time I've ever been to the Archon's Forge. I decided to give it a go, and I was there for quite a while because it was me and like two other people. And obviously, uh, Siva, Siva samples kept freaking dropping, so you know they just kept going back up after each round and starting another round. So it was kind of a never-ending cycle, and you know I managed to get some decent stuff out of it. But, I mean, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun, I guess. It's definitely something different. In this episode, I'm not really 100% sure what I want to do. I know, first off, I want to go to the Reef. And I know I'm kind of rambling on here, but, you know. Oh, hey, look at that. Ooh, nice, another strange coin. I know I'm kind of rambling on here, and people don't like when I ramble on, but... I just need to explain what was going on. I need to get at least one episode recorded, especially since I'm not, I'm not gonna really be home this weekend to record anything. So I need to get something out there at least. Yeah, I got 51 strange coins, so we need to go see Zer uh, immediately, and I believe he's at the reef this week. So we'll head to the reef.
I'm trying to think what else I did. Oh yeah, I did the uh, Prison of Elders yesterday and got an exotic drop. Um, what the heck was it that I got? Uh, the... Is it the Mita Multi-Tool? The uh, Scout Rifle? But it only dropped at 160 light. And <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. Because I have ornaments for it and I can't use them. So I don't know if I should just disassemble it and build myself a new one. Because um, it said I could do so with uh, legendary tokens. I mean, I'm probably not going to use it because I have... Uh, which one was my scout? The Visions of Confluence, which is probably a lot better than the middle multi-tool, just for the fact that it has a fire element attached to it. All right, so where, where, where is Zer? I guess follow all the people who are huddled over in the corner. That's typically where Zer is. Who's this one who calls himself? All right, so what does he have today? I'm an agent of the Nile. Legacy Engram, uh, Titan only, Bones VO. Now, funnily enough, I actually found the Bones VO uh, the other day and disassembled them. I mean, it's good if you're if you're um, I don't know. I'm, I'm just not a fan of them. What else you got here? Hard light. Um, it's an auto rifle. Glass half full. Spray and play. Quick draw. Fitted stock. Volatile light. Rounds fired from this weapon have no damage fall off. Over penetrate targets and ricochet off hard surfaces. Huh. Oh, they got the Red Death and White Witch. I already have that, though. The last word in Adabun. Or Ad Ad Adendun. Okay. Well, that looks like a hand cannon. Well, how many strange coins do I have left? Right, I have five. You are a tool for physical violence. An exchange. What do I want to do, though? No. I was... I was possibly going to buy a Legacy Engram and just attempt to level up something here. But... I think I'm just gonna... I'm not even gonna bother. I was sent here to carry out this exchange. I'm just gonna stock up on three coins. How many three coins do I have now? 30. Only two. Let's go to 40. I don't care. Um, heavy ammo synthesis. That's kind of ridiculous. Two strange coins for one mote of light. This is 
All right, so I can go ahead and leave here now. Because I don't believe there's anything else for me to do in the reef. Oh yeah, and something else I also managed to do uh, off screen yesterday before I decided to stop playing. Um, I ended up getting that SIVA cluster and or the dorm the dormant SIVA cluster and um, oh god the the temple the forgive me I don't I don't recall locations very well. The Iron Temple, I guess. I managed to climb the mountain and get up top and grab it. it. Took me took me a little bit, but I did manage to do it. So what I was planning on doing for this video was I wanted to do I wanted to do something that I haven't done yet. And I think really the only thing I haven't done yet um Obviously, besides some of the other raids, I haven't done any multiplayer stuff, and um, I was playing with Deft Puppies yesterday, and he was telling me that Iron Banner would uh, seriously boost my level pretty quick. I guess my light level. I've already done Siva Crisis this week and I've also done the Nightfall, which was interesting. <laughs> It was just me and Deft Puppies yesterday, and we managed to get through it, but we didn't manage to do it in the half hour time frame that they give you uh, for, or that, um, oh my gosh, that what's his name gives you. So I'm going to have to run through it again and try and get it done in a half hour. Now, the one thing that I'm not so sure about is if I mean, I guess team chat isn't really necessary. Level advantages enabled, limited time access, Xbox Live, yeah, blah blah blah. See, to me, that's silly. It says Xbox Live required. Isn't Xbox Live required for this game in general? I don't know. I don't know. I am so... You know what? I don't care. Let's go ahead and let's do let's do Iron Banner. And I'm probably going to get freaking destroyed because I I don't care. I just want to do it because I want to do it for 
experience, and not only the experience, but because it's something I haven't done yet. So, it'll be interesting. I mean, I, I did have a little taste of what uh, multiplayer is like. Uh, Owl Buster and Deft Puppies did do like a little private match, th uh, three on three. So, or not three on three, but it was like a free for all with all three of us. So, I have a little bit of experience as far as, you know, what multiplayer is like. However, that was a free for all, so I'm not quite sure what uh, what team play is like. But this is Iron Banner Control, so from what I understand, this is a a not a snatch and grab because snatch and grab would be more like capture the flag. But this is like a control points game. And I guess whoever whoever controls the points the longest um, the longest time frame when the game ends wins would be my guess for the first one to so many points. Yeah, nice to see somebody else with my ship. Copycat. pretty cool that it shows your squad flying in though I know these guys can't hear me but I'm apologizing right now because I'm probably going to suck some serious ass because I know nothing about any of these maps at all <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how this goes which will probably be pretty badly God, I probably need an auto rifle. Iron Banner Control. You know what? Bravo team. I'm gonna switch to the Fate Bringer. All right, so we're Bravo team, huh? Prove you are worthy of the Iron Lords. Enemy captured Zone C. Zone A secure. I'm gonna go here and control Zone B with this guy. Zone B secure. Yeah, that was a fail. All right, let's let's switch back to the Angel's Advocate. Wow. Okay. Let's just spawn camp. Great. Change the lead. Lost the lead. Zone A lost. You're in the lead. Oh, we're in the lead. That's good. Enemy captured. Zone A. You're falling behind. Change the lead. Zone A neutralized. Zone A secure. Hey, I killed somebody. With a headshot, apparently. Okay, let's play with the Telesto. Guys on my team. Oh shit, I stabbed that guy in the face. Another Telesto. That's right.
zone B secure. each other to death. Alright, well, that was interesting. Let's just punch each other to death. Need some special ammo. A lost. Zone C neutralized. Zone B lost. Zone C secure. Enemy captured zone B. Enemy captured zone A. Well, I'd say we're losing. Ah, oh, damn it. I was going to use my special there and freaking blast him away, but... Oh, well. Oh, we're winning. Lost. Zone A, neutral. Not by much, though. Heavy ammo on the way. Enemy captured zone C. Zone A, secure. Heavy ammo available. Lost the lead. Neutralize zone B. Zone A lost. Zone B secure. Enemy captured zone A. Zone C neutralized. Zone C secure. Double kill. Oh, nice. Zone C lost. Enemy captured zone C. <laughs> Hooray, I feel special. I cleared a zone myself. They neutralized zone A. Five minutes remaining. Zone B lost. Zone A, secure. Enemy captured zone B. Zone A lost. Defeat is imminent.
Enemy captured, zone A. Enemy controls all zones. The zones are everything. I guess I didn't do too bad. I mean, we lost, but still. Deidre's fist? Huh. I wonder why I wasn't, um... Why I wasn't awarded with any of the captures. Because I was there when... The zones were captured. Right, so... Oh, it's an artifact, is it? Actually, doesn't seem to be that good, really. Actually, no, I guess it is. I mean, that's good for... That's good for uh, against Taken. Well, no, I guess... Well, I don't know. We'll do another round here and see what becomes of it. I think an auto rifle would do me a lot of good in here. I love my Telesto, though. Because once I get that special ammo, man, that freaking Telesto does some serious damage. All it takes is one shot. This time we're on Mars. Crossroads. Iron Banner Control. Alpha Team. Alright, we're on Alpha Team this time. The Iron Lords are watching. Why does this look more like Venus than anything else? Enemy captured zone C. Zone A, secure. Oh, yes. Nice. The battle lines have been drawn. <laughs> First strike. All lead. right. Zone B, secure. Now this map's going to be difficult for me because there are freaking teleporters and I have no idea where any of them lead. Like the one beside me, for instance.
Zone A lost. Oh shit! I actually managed to get that dude in the freaking crotch with my knife. Enemy oh, captured damn. Zone A. Did we seriously lose a player? What the? Come on, guys, for real. At least stay for the whole freaking game. Well, that wasn't a very good plan. Lost the lead. Zone C neutralized. You're in the lead. That's good. That's good that we're in the lead. I don't have any grenades Zone though, C so. Secure. I wonder if you could shoot through the teleporter. I'm gonna go cross. I can't, I can't do this like, camping C. stuff. Falling behind. Zone B lost. Zone C neutralized. Enemy captured zone B. Zone C secure. Zone B neutralized. Zone B secure. Zone C lost. Enemy captured Zone C. Zone C neutralized. Let's go through this teleport. Oh, nice. Managed to get him after death. Enemy captured zone C. Heavy ammo on the way. I don't need heavy ammo, I need special ammo. Five, four, three, two, one. Special ammo. Thank you. Heavy ammo okay. available. You're dead. You neutralized zone C. Woo! I neutralized. Zone C secure.
the lead. Wow, what the? Obviously, people using their specials. Five minutes remaining. Don't see lost. Zone C secure. I can definitely say this game mode is very chaotic. I mean, there's like. You're dead. You're dead. Double down. You're dead. You neutralized zone A. So I'm getting the hang of the, the gameplay here. in numbers guardian excellent OC lost you captured zone a you're almost there enemy captured zone c your victory gives the city hope nice guardian. nice so we won one, we lost one. I'd say that's a that's a pretty good outcome. 50-50. So I'm not the greatest the greatest uh, multiplayer player. Well, I'm not the greatest, you know. Yeah, multiplayer player out there, but um, I'm certainly not the worst, I guess. I didn't get as many kills that time, but. I did get at least one capture. Although I, th I could have swore I got two, but oh well. So I'm going to leave matchmaking here for now. And I think I'm going to cut this episode here. Just because I, I wanted to show you guys something that I haven't done yet. So, you know, it is obviously blind. And I have no... I have, there's still a lot of maps I haven't played on. Still a lot of stuff that... I need to play other than just the Iron Banner, but I think I might do some more of that off screen, actually. It was pretty fun. And I did, I did completely forgot I got that um, Treasure of Ages. Let's go ahead and open that, shall we? Alright, so I didn't really get anything. I didn't really get anything decent out of that. What I get a color scheme? Gold. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the gold. I mean, it's cool, I guess, but no. It's not for me. Not suited for my character. Passage coin. Used to purchase unique enhancements after acquiring a Trials Passage. Uh, use the Trials Passage to see available purchases. 
Okay, that's something new. Um, Trials Passage. Hmm. I'll have to look into that because I'm not... I'm not sure uh, what it is, actually. It's obviously a lot, a lot like the strange coin. All right. But anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you for watching. If you guys enjoyed this episode or previous episodes, please give a like. If you guys enjoy my Let's Plays, please don't hesitate to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play Destiny Blind, where I'll probably do some more multiplayer stuff because it was fun. Um, but we'll see. I do still want to do some more raids and stuff, so if you guys are interested in helping me with raids, you know, don't hesitate to send me a friend request on uh, Xbox Live, or, you know, just message me or whatever on YouTube, uh, just let me know. So, thank you guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode, but until then, guys, later.